me, I'm a savage. Yeah. You say like I had it. Yeah. I'm so honest when you play. Yeah. But they didn't let me last year. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone is mad. I ain't even Hi guys, good morning. It is July 4th and somehow we are not doing much. We're just gonna go grab some brunch. Well, tell them where we are. We're on Central Avenue. We're on Central Avenue. And it's super sunny. I feel like I'm coming off as if I look like a ghost. But anyways, you don't understand what happened to us last night. Like classic, I was trying to go out, trying to have fun, and something goes wrong. Chloe's car broke down in the middle of the highway. No, before the highway. Okay, it was before basically the highway. <laughs> like, why am I drum squeeze? Whatever. Chloe's car broke down. Car broke down. I mean, right before dramatic. I was crying for two hours. Yeah, you know, basically our whole night kind of got messed up, but we still ended up going out for dinner. A lot of times that I have come to New York, I've spent a lot of times like in the city, and the city just makes me like tired, and it reminds me a lot of like downtown Toronto. So for this like visit, I came for a wedding, but I also came to relax and to just take some time off and I've been to the city once but of course I forgot my camera at home remember <laughs> the one I'm so tired I'm still waking up um, I was just a bad first day yeah it was a bad first day but thank god I don't I can't like speak in the morning I'm like you know what I'm tired yeah do you know what you're gonna order all breakfasts are served oh too late <laughs> until are you, 12 are you kidding no no until sure 12 can, all breakfasts are I'm served I'm sure you can ask them and they'll do something for you Oh my god, they have poutine here. <laughs> they have had, poutine. How do you pronounce it? Poutine, yeah. I never right. had that before. What is it's it? It's so good. It's so good. It's basically french fries with I gravy feel like if we got, and melted cheese. I feel like if we got here, you'd be like, it's not as good as in Canada. No, no, no. I'm sure it is just as good. Would you want that? No, right? I mean, we could share it if you want as an appetizer. But wait, what, where have, are the appetizers? Here, on the front. They, they have a mozzarella basket. You, you've been wanting to get like cheese stick slash mozzarella for so long. No, actually I don't want that. I got a salad, pasta salad. And this is like an oil vinaigrette dressing. We've got our poutine appetizer. And she also got salad with some grilled cheese on top. How cool is that? It's super, like, super cool. I'm already, I'm so full. I can't even, I'm, I don't, we're both so full. We don't know how we're going to eat this. We are at the beach. What beach is this called? We're at the Rockway Beach. What? Rockway Beach. The Rockway Beach. I missed work today, so it says out of office. <laughs> Appropriate. Her, her, hat, her hat says out of office because we had a wedding last night. Um, and yeah, now we're out of office and we are here to have fun. And it's not even packed at all. On camera, we're a lot more white than we are in person. I don't even know what she is. Is No, but she said she sees you. We're meeting our friend. Literally running on the beach as if she's she like in Baywatch. Baywatch. Yeah, in Baywatch. Yeah. Okay. Look at her body. I'm in love. <laughs> Amy, you are a Victoria's Secret model. How's your hair still look dry? My hair really? took my braid off. I feel off. like it looks Wait, we bumped into a little free library. It's so cute. It's like outside this house and you can literally open it, take a book oh, for free. Okay. And I don't know, are you supposed to, oh yeah, you need to return the book. That's so sweet. I hope people actually return it. This is like the classic American house with the white picket fence. I am officially home. I was in New York for almost a week 
but i was really bad about vlogging i guess when you're having so much fun you really forget to like take out your camera and document everything and i think also a big part of it was because i literally am so new to vlogging so i wasn't it wasn't always in the back of my mind but i mean new york is always a blast now i'm back home in toronto and i have two more weeks until i am fully done my bachelor's degree super excited but at the same time it's a little bit nerve-wracking because i need to find a job i have to get everything together and really like start my life my suitcase is literally right in front of me i still haven't unpacked because i don't know i just hate packing and unpacking it's something that takes for me so like so long it's my best friend's birthday and i am gonna wrap right now what i bought for her and i guess i can show you what i bought for her and i actually made one thing as well so first things first she's like really really into skincare especially um like korean or asian skincare so i got her this book i did a lot of research online and i wanted to see like what book would be the best for her because i know she loves like tips and tricks called the little book of skincare korean beauty secrets for healthy glowing skin i also made her this quotes jar and basically it's 365 quotes one for every single day and i handpicked 365 quotes that i think she would like and she's like really 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 into like inspirational quotes and inspirational writings and we always tag each other on instagram with like different quotes that we like i cut up 365 quotes and i fold them into like little pieces so they're all in there hopefully she's gonna love it i think she will and i actually bought this glass jar it's the only glass jar that i found that would actually fit all these there's always like little hairs falling on me because i have so much hair on my head and it's always falling um but yeah i'm just gonna secure it and then i actually spray painted it with some gold spray paint that i bought um just to kind of glam it up a little bit and the last thing that i bought her that i'm going to wrap it's in this box but it's actually a mug that says best friend on it i don't know if i want to open it to be honest because the lady wrapped it really nicely, but it's really just a really pretty mug and it says best friend on it. I'm going to wrap it up right now. We are at, where are we? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't even know my hometown. Malasman. What's Malasman? North York Center. North York Center. <laughs> we just had dinner. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, she got chicken fingers and fries mm -hmm. and I got a fajita bowl. It was so good. So yummy. And we basically <laughs> got the meal for free because there was like a little piece of, piece uh, of plastic, plastic or something. Yeah, and her chicken. So the manager was amazing. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. So Savannah, do you want to introduce yourself to the people watching? Hey guys, I'm Savannah. What's up? This girl is literally one of the <laughs> coolest people you'll ever meet in your whole entire life. She's always having a good time. She's always happy. She's always like f so friendly. Like literally she can be friends with anyone in a second. And everyone loves her. Just got a free lollipop. Just you guys can have some if you want. <laughs> How pretty is it here? Honestly, my new mission is to kind of like discover why <laughs> she's always laughing this one My new mission is to sort of like discover Toronto because I feel like I always go to like the same spots And I want to like kind of try out going to like different places. You know what I mean? Yeah, so we'll see how that works um, Oh my god, the water right now. Tennis. No, 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 no. The water is gorgeous. Oh here it is. <gasps> so gorgeous Come come Let's go Savannah the tour guide. Come guys. Come guys. Join us. Oh my god, yo, we need to take a picture in front of this little waterfall. Wow, this is gorgeous. I love this. Wow, if you guys are visiting Toronto, you have to come here. So pretty. This is gorgeous. Should we do an outfit of the day? Sure. Do you want to explain your outfit and like how you paired it and why? Okay. So I love your blue. top. 
Thank you. And look, you. it brings out her eyes. Thanks. I wore blue because it always brings out my eyes. <laughs> Especially in the summer when I'm really tan. <laughs> and I always wear leggings because they're super comfy. Yeah. And, and I everything. love the shoes. Thanks. Yeah. The they're literally like so $20 nice. from Aldo. Got them on so sale. So nice. I love a good deal. Thank you. And then um, I like Hearing the chokers. Are nice. Choker is so in. Choker always just goes with everything, especially because I always wear like some type of black, so it kind of just like yeah. And then yeah, I the love it. I just kind of threw on today because I'm like, you know what? I want a little bit of silver in my life. Oh my god, I my love. You're so good at this. And, like, yeah. <laughs> and so, the cardigan because it's actually really cold out. Yeah. So at I night. always like to bring a cardigan with me just in case, right? Because you never know when it's gonna get cold outside. And it, here in Canada, it's and, pretty yeah. cold in the evenings, so, even though it's summer. So cold. So yeah. I'm be prepared. Um, and that's it. Oh, the sunnies are so nice. Yeah, so I like to wear It's a these. problem because why is it a problem when you wear these? Can you tell them? Yeah, it's a problem when I wear these because everyone just looks at themselves <laughs> and I'm talking to them like it's a mirror <laughs> instead of actually talking to me. But I like to wear them because they're kind of cute. So what am I wearing today? I'm wearing a black bodysuit. It's actually my mom's. I always feel my mom's clothes. And then she gets mad at me. She's like, where's my stuff? Anyway, so I don't even really know where it's from, but a black bodysuit, you can literally get it anywhere. And then these black ripped jeans are from American Eagle, and I love them because they're not even like so black, they're like a dark gray, like a charcoal gray, so it matches with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And then this blazer, I talked about it, I actually talked about it in my last haul, like my midsummer clothing haul. I literally got it for like on sale, it was like $30, and it's actually like so nice, and I love the material. Um, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to throw it on because it is kind of chilly out in the evening time, although it's summer, I know. So I'm actually getting ready for bed right now and I just wanted to show you about four products that I've been really, really loving. Now, the thing is I used to use really fancy face cleansers and I found that I was breaking out not necessarily from them but i was going through a breakout and i'm still trying to get over it my dermatologist actually recommended a cetaphil to me and it's probably not new to a lot of you watching but i just wanted to say that it actually works really really well and the way that i use it is i take off my makeup with micellar water i've spoken about this in the past so i take my makeup off with micellar water and then i go in with the cetaphil cleanser this is a gentle skin cleanser and literally this has very minimal ingredients so it's really gentle on the skin it's literally every dermatologist recommends it and i actually use this twice i cleanse with this twice and it literally gets rid of all of my makeup so i literally only do those two steps the micellar water and then the cetaphil sometimes like the more simple the better it is for your skin and then i actually have been toning with well I haven't really been toning with it but i guess i've been dabbing it on some of my like pimples and it works amazing and my friend told me about this drink and her facialist told her about it so you know it's legit but um i've actually been using alcohol like rubbing alcohol it's 70% so it's pure rubbing alcohol and I'm not even kidding you like I know it sounds harsh but it works wonders and it literally works 10 times better than a toner because not only does it like clean your face but it literally gets rid of all of the bacteria that's underneath the pimples now I know technically I should be putting it only on the spots that I have but knowing me <laughs> I actually put it all over my face just with one of those just with one of these like face pads so that's something that has been working really really well for me and it actually has worked wonders on my skin and then in terms of moisturizer my current favorite moisturizer is the clean and clear dual action moisturizer because not only is it oil free but it's got salicylic acid which is going to help prevent your acne um, or it's going to prevent future breakouts and it's going to get rid of current breakouts and then another thing that i love about this is that it doesn't have much of a smell it's a very very thin consistency i'm someone who hates to moisturize in fact most of the time let's be real i don't even moisturize i'm just gonna go shower now so that's kind of something that i've been loving but the thing is right now i am using medicated tropical creams for my breakouts which 
I was prescribed to by the doctor, so I'm actually not currently using this, but I was using this before. The reason why I'm not using this is because right now we, um, I have, I'm using like antibiotic creams, so the salicylic acid in this would be too harsh. So what am I using in the meantime? In the meantime, I am moisturizing with the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. Now it is pretty good and I would recommend it, but I'm not as in love with this moisturizer as I am with this one, but it's kind of the most like natural, not natural, but the most like, I guess, gentle for my skin right now. And at the same time, it's very moisturizing. So that's what I'm using. So that's pretty much my skincare routine for the nighttime. And then I actually go in with this topical cream that I got from the doctor. It's called Tac 2 Pump. And it just kind of comes in like a bottle like this. And it's basically a certain gel that is supposed to help with the like breakouts. A lot of people, a lot of facialists actually recommend using one of these medicated creams throughout the whole year and it like basically consistent consistently as opposed to just when you're breaking out. So maybe I'll actually get more of these to use throughout the year even when my face does clear up and I do get the like ideal facial results.